Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frederick, you know me as Kianomi, and we are back today in Sweet Transit, playing with trains. So uh, we're back in our One City playthrough, our One City challenge that we are doing. Uh, we're currently up to just below 19,000 people in Helsinki here. Uh, our goal is of course to reach 30,000, so we are good on our way there. Uh, we kind of have everything available to us now. We have a few things that we're missing at the moment. So we are still not producing any books. And we don't have any schools in the city itself. Other than that, we have almost everything available to us at this point. So uh, definitely moving in the right direction, I would say. This episode, we have a few things that we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on. And then we're going to wrap up today with bringing those books online probably so uh one of the issues we're having is that over here at our smelter uh, we actually if we speed up this a little bit and if we can get some deliveries eventually you'll see that we are actually running out of iron quite often we are producing or we using 3,365 per minute uh, however, we are only producing uh, 4 times 72, so if we get tools here, or if we have a full production, we are actually running out of iron quite quickly. So we're going to put another train onto there, uh, or not even that actually, we have trains standing here waiting to get filled up, so we're just going to put another one of these on here, uh, and that should allow us to have... A little bit more coming in here. Yeah, not you though. Could even go with two of them. Just for good measure. Like that. This is a really inefficient way of doing it, but I think it kind of looks funny. So I'm going to continue that way. Uh, and then we're getting workers. They are leaving here, so everything good with that. Uh, these guys are still a little bit behind with the bricks, but I'm hoping to solve that with um, tools and books eventually. So we're not going to do anything about that. So that should give us enough stuff here that we actually have uh, uh, iron all the time producing. Uh, because in town we have plenty of coal, so that's not an issue. We're also making money since the last episode. We managed to shift that around a little bit uh, otherwise in the town we're kind of good on the majority of things we have uh, potatoes we're a little bit low on clothing uh, but we do have all of the cotton that we need so i think we're just gonna expand the clothing production for us and see if we can get anything done with that so if we expand our beautification a little bit here That gives us 30 attractiveness, and that should give us a lot more space for this. So let's expand you guys out this way. That was not what I wanted. There, and then we're going to use one of these small storages. And actually use the normal clothing shops. I've been thinking a little bit, and I think it's actually beneficial for us to use the normal clothing shop, because it's way easier to keep the these guys working uh considering that it's only wood and wood we can kind of expand a lot more than what we can expand upkeep for bricks here so that's the reason why i'm going to move over again to using more of the normal clothing shop guys than what we've done before hopefully that makes sense uh so let's get you on there Build you guys out something like that, and then we're gonna have this guy. And then we're gonna do the same on this side. And we're gonna produce a lot of clothing here. Probably more than what we need. Not probably, we're gonna produce more than what we need. <laughs> no doubt about it. Uh, and then we're gonna have... Maybe we should do this instead. Maybe that makes more sense. Because this guy actually reaches all the way down here, so... So how does that look? Uh, we are losing money quickly now. Because... 
Yeah, why are we losing so much money? Because all of this upkeep. How much upkeep do you guys draw? You draw a thousand. And we are producing a lot more now than what we need. Uh, maybe this was a little bit overkill then. Let's just do maybe ten of them to begin with. How does that look? Will we become positive then? No, we're still losing money. That's 500 for each of them. That is nuts. Let's just do five then. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah. So these are better from a money upkeep perspective. Because we need three of these to keep up with one of those. Okay, uh, we lost a lot of money there, but we're back making money now again, at least. And we got a lot of clothes in the meantime, so... Maybe worth it in the longer run. We'll see. Um, oh, we have a lot of bricks. Hold on now. Why are these guys... Oh, I'm such an idiot. I need to connect this guy. Uh, you should not actually be connected to this. This guy should be connected here. And then you should connect to the city instead. That is so dumb. Okay. And then these guys should fill up, right? What? Where did all of those... Oh, was that literally saved in the warehouse? Probably, right? These guys are actually running full speed now, which is good. And we're up to 10k in balance again. It's also good. So, let's see. We have the clothes fixed now, so everything there is more or less good. I think we need to expand our wood quite a bit as well. To be able to account... Um, trying to think ahead a little bit. I know that's not really what I usually do, so... Trying to be a little bit more s smart about it. And I think if we expand wood now, then we don't have to worry about wood running out once we have... Once we have everything up and running with the wood pulp and the books. I'm curious if you can actually connect a... What happens if I do this? If I take one of these paper mills... I don't have the, uh, the bricks for it. Okay. Where's my bricks train? Shouldn't we have two of these? So that's you. Where's the other one? Oh, you're running with stone now. Okay. Uh, please do bricks. If the game were smart enough to um, assign the, the deliveries to what was actually needed, then you could leave them without filters, but that's not actually the case. The, case, the game is just randomly, I think, or probably has some kind of internal situation of how it points items to trains. And most of the trains, times the trains are just being left there with one item. Like this time, for example, this guy filled up with stone instead of bricks. Even though I almost promise you that there is bricks in the town. Yeah, 1600. I guess you could kind of make it pick up both if you did double uh, stops. So if you made two stops and then told it to pick up uh, bricks once and then stone the next one. That could be one way to do it. Okay, so let's get all of this delivered and let's see how this works. So that's 800. And let's see if I can build a paper mill and have you connect to this guy as well. No, it only connects to that. Okay. So yeah, that, that doesn't work. Where do we want a paper mill? I don't have that much space left either. Maybe over here? 
Nah. I can't use this area because it's covered by... I guess maybe. That could work. How does a station here look? It's actually pretty hard. If I do this and then I use this guy, then I would have a little bit more space. I would technically be able to do this. So how does this work? A machine that uses pulp to turn wood chips into thick fibers requires a wood processor connected to it to work. A machine that cuts and shreds wood into tiny wood chips. Wood chips can be refined into wood pulp. And this is a machine that uses fibers to create paper. So this is the one that actually produces. This one is just general. Okay. And they are 2x3, 2x2, and 2x2. So this guy should go there. You can go here. Don't have any. So at the moment, we're not producing anything. Is it these that are producing? Here comes some of the bricks that we need. Good. Good, good, good. So let's see. We can get this built when they deliver. Oh, we're losing money. Because of these. No, these doesn't do that much. What's happening, town? Are we out of something? Really? Actually fine. So why are we not making money? We lost a lot of money there for some reason. And we're still losing money somehow. Even though the wealth is going up. Maybe there was a small hiccup there somehow. Uh, but yeah, let's get this up and running because this is just costing us money at the moment. And you should be here eventually. Don't even have the money for this. 25 grand. Come on. What is costing so much? That's 5 grand. That's what's costing so much. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Now we're making money. Again. Let's speed that up a little bit. And let's set a station here. This guy should be able to fit here somewhere. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, you can't build that close. So that's not going to happen. Doing this. Use the damn box, you have it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we actually need this guy to cut in one further and then have this guy here instead. Right there. And that instantly forces us to have it over here instead. There. And then we're gonna have you go here and you will go there. And then we're gonna have... I think it was 80 grand for this guy, right? Yeah, 88. Just need a little bit more money for that then. Just a little bit more money for that then. There we go, that should be the stuff we need here. So let's cut these off, get rid of them. And then this guy goes something like that, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Connect these. And I guess we can do some signals here as well. 
So how does this work? You come out that way and then you should go in here. We do that and then... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Bridge is right there. Still haven't used any of these steel bridges, even though I actually have them available now. It's I'm so used to the, the stone ones, it's so easy to just continue using those. <laughs> Uh, so you both are going this way. And yeah, that looks correct. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we need... How much are we producing now? We actually have none of the stuff that we need here. Why are we not producing anything then? These guys should be producing. So you should be producing. I guess we just don't have any wood, and that's why. Uh, let's take you guys. Let's make a copy of this. Call it wood to... Uh, paper. Well, spelling paper is apparently really hard today. Paper delivery. Wait, I'm completely blank of cash? Why? Why do I not have any money? I'm out of... This stuff? Seriously? Huh. That's a first. Uh, we do come in with some more cheese there at least, so maybe I should look into that eventually. What do we need here? We need... Is it only craftsmen? Well, that's awfully convenient. Let's get you. Make a copy and let's see. Uh, paper craftsman. I usually don't do this, but I figured we could try and have the warehouse deliver the wood. Then I don't need to move any fuel anywhere. Otherwise, I need to put fuel either at the sawmill or at the paper mill. But at the warehouse, we already have fuel, so that should be fine. Take you, put paper, go. I think that should be quite good. Ooh, I don't have any. Where did I put that guy? I think I put one on the cattle one. Oil. Put you. Two trains. You? Yes. So this one should be from Helsinki to Paper Mill. So how does this look? Do we have any stuff here now? Yes, we actually do. So let's start this guy up. That's going to cost us a lot of money. So this should be producing paper, but why isn't it? Oh, this guy doesn't actually have a connection. Is that why? There we go, now we're producing. Okay. And we're still sorta of positive. That's good. Uh, these guys to go into... Is it this? Yes. Okay. So we need... Similar to... This guy. Copy you, tell you to be paper instead. From there to you connected? No. Um, yes, Helsinki 2 is where it needs to go. It's like the best option I have available. And let's see, what kind of train do we need? We need one of these. We don't have the money for it. How does this work? So each processor is bringing up the production, I'm guessing. 36. And if we delete you... The production goes up. What? No, that is just because we had enough. Yeah. So 48. Consumption. Quasi wood processor. 
Is there like a ratio to this that we need to have maybe? 48. Still 48. I don't get it. What brings up the production here? What if we delete all of these? The machine that uses thick fiber to create paper requires a pulp producer connected to it to operate. Production multiplies if a certain number of structures are adjacent. Requires a pulp producer, which is this one. And then these guys are just to store stuff. Yeah. So we actually don't want those here. We want these right here. And then these only to kind of store stuff. Why am I not getting any tooltips on these? No, I think you need these as well. Yeah, you need both. So each of these needs one of these. Is that correct? Yeah. And then you produce more of these. Okay. So if I do that and then put these here. It produces 192 each minute. Maybe that's as good as we can make it. The efficiency is inefficient. Because you guys are super tired. Why are you not swapping workers then? Huh. 98. Yeah. They are changing tired workers. It's just because we are out of some stuff. Okay. Uh, then we need a train to deliver all of this somehow. It should be this. We don't have the money for it right now. Then we can pass you, we'll get some money. Because that doesn't delete any of this, we actually still keep it. This guy, I think it's 122 grand for that. But I could be mistaken. Yeah. Sure is, paper delivery, go. Let's go over here, I think we're out of... Yeah, you're out of this stuff again. Okay. Uh, so to produce more of this, we need a school that will produce books. And that will increase the population limit that we have. Wait, it will bring down beautification. Schools. Bookstore. What? Wait now. No, it brings up the beautification. Yeah. So we want to have these somewhere. Produce books. Yes, right here. More books about trains. And we can get probably more of them eventually. Yes, getting books would be quite good. Can we see the progression for books here? Books is not part of this. Can I see it here, maybe? Books. Uh, production 30, exports 30. Okay. We just need more done. Which is exactly what we're going to build. There, and if we get some money, we can get another one. Yeah, I really need to get this guy working faster. As long as he's working full speed, we're actually keeping up, but as soon as he is behind, we are instantly running out of cash. Maybe we can do two now, even. That's one. That's two. That's about it we can do there. Now we're producing 120 even on a bad day, so... Once we get tools up and running and books, books especially, seems to be... The easiest way to increase our production here. I kind of like the idea of having schools actually improve the, the aesthetics of your town. 
It's actually a really good good way of doing it. Then you can limit all of the this kind of clutter that you have now. I would say. So let's get one of you and we're gonna get one more sometime. Oh, you actually need that stuff. Okay. Uh, where do we have churches? Where are you actually getting your church from? Uh, maybe if I do this, we can reach. Yeah. And we're still not producing books enough, so we can keep a balance, right? No. We are just exporting as much as we are producing. This is going to take a lot of workers though. Unfortunately, it's all craftsmen. Connect these. Now we're just gonna slam down these, these uh, bookstores literally everywhere. So we can produce as much as possible. We're losing stuff now? No, not really. Do we have issues with exporting? Also not really. Might even want to increase our production of stone a little bit. We were to go boom and then say stone works there. That would increase the production there a little bit and also use up a little bit more of our workers. I'll get like a their own church right here. <laughs> Just for the bookstores and uh, the workers here at the coal mine. It'll be good. I think we need more. Yeah, we're, we're actually not producing enough paper right here. Are you filling up instantly? I think you kind of are. Right? Yeah, we need one more of you. And we don't have enough money for that. And this guy is too costly. Let's keep on. We have 40 grand available, so once we have enough money for it, I'm gonna put another train on the paper mill guy. 120 grand. Uh, clay. Even clay is actually quite decent. Huh. Should we uh, anyway expand this then maybe? I guess these are just above because we have production of the stuff over there. Where does all of our books go? Like, you guys have any books? No? There is some books. Okay. So these guys are working like crazy. Those guys are working like crazy. That's probably good. You guys are not working at all because you don't have any pulp yet. Let's just follow you around and then make a copy when we have enough money for it. And there we go. Make a copy of you and send you out and see if we can get this going. So how would you slot this into a second one? One there. One on each side after that. There we go, get some roads, and probably do that, you bring stuff, this is for paper rights, yep, okay, I think this seems quite good, there, there we have two industries up and running, and we should be producing quite a bit of, yeah, 384 every minute now. So these guys should be filling up real quick. Uh, more worried about the wood now, maybe. But I think we should be able to keep up with that as well. How does it look here? Do you guys actually work? No? Of course you're not. Why would you? But yeah, we do uh, upload now. So let's see how, how long these guys actually... Keyboard. So he just left. 340, 320. Where's the 
paper one comes here. We might actually keep up now. Yeah, 200. We're actually just keeping up now. So we can continuously produce. Okay, that means that we can put down more books. Yeah, we're almost keeping up. Get one more on there, see if we can... One more of these trains on here eventually as well. How does it look with the wood? I think I need to upgrade a few wood trains. I have a few of these slower ones that I could probably make a lot faster. So we have plenty of wood here, that's not an issue. Yeah, look, we're almost building up a little bit of these books now. So that That's good. Means that you actually have books, these guys have books, majority of them do, however we're out of these that we are out of, yeah. So we actually need to produce more of this. How much are we actually using? Uh, almost 800, more than 800, Jesus, okay. And you guys are out of workers? Seriously? Yeah, we only have one train. No wonder. That's like 200 grand though, so it's gonna have to wait a little bit. It's gonna have to wait a little bit. And we're gonna need a lot more of these. So let's set that up. Let's well build this row up. Connect these one by one. So are you connected? No. You're not right. Fine. Ooh, that's an issue. I actually need to have it there now. Okay. Then let's pause you and let's see. Ah, oh, that is really annoying. Okay. Oh, that is what it is. And these guys are taking clay as well. Damn. Paper mill, craftsman bakery, schools, market hall. What does the market hall do? Uh, capacities, road movement range. Plus 5,000. Changing options. That's a bigger range, but like other than that, sure it holds books, I guess, <laughs> and a bit more of each item. But yeah, I don't see a reason to use this, I guess. So how much of the paper do we use? 480, you are producing 384, so we actually need more of those. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit until we can get this guy to produce more. This actually does. So how much are you producing now? 506. How does that make you look? Actually quite good, because you are still in need of a bit more. So consumption 540, production 400 and something. Okay. Still doesn't get us the tools that we need though. Tools is just never enough. <laughs> Are you ever running out of wood? Is that an issue? I feel like that shouldn't be an issue, but who knows? Maybe it is. Yeah, it is actually. Okay. This intersection is probably part of why that's an issue. So if I wanted to fix this intersection, how would I do that? Well, these are going to have to go. Uh, these are going to have to be cut off. And then both of those. Delete that. Let's see if we can get a... No? Okay. Uh, how is this going to work? Need to fit something in here. 
Yeah, I mean, if I do this... Put you in there. Then we... Probably send all of these to depot. They don't teleport anymore. That's pretty bad. Uh, why can't I draw a box now? Because the game is messing with me. There we go. Apparently if you're too close you can't draw a box. Okay. As uh, so these will go there, you will go here. The in here that goes with workers. Let's make a copy of you. And how does this look? Are you ever running out of anything? I don't think so. You look like you're doing quite well. So we have plenty of that stuff. Plenty of that stuff. Should I try to expand this maybe? That's too crazy of an idea. Okay, so producing even more now. 250% we were up in there for a little bit. How does it look with the production now then? We do bring up more books. We need... Oh, we even have tools. This is great. Okay. So we need a tools delivery train. That will be... Tools... Delivery. And it's going to go from... Come on. From Helsinki to... Smelter already get it. Brickworks gets it. Pump jacks don't really need it. It's gonna go to Cheese Factory. That's really the only one that desperately needs that. Paper mill maybe? Maybe Cattle Ranch eventually as well. And then we're gonna have one that is for books. And that's going to be... Books. Same idea. Okay, so with all of these tools and books, it looks like we actually solved this, this issue that we had. Uh, it looks like we're mainly positive now, so... As long as I can get some... Uh, cheese in again. It looks like we became a bit unstable on the cheese, cheese front as we continue there. But yeah, as long as we have cheese, we're making money as well. And we are positive in all of these income sources, more or less. Just a little bit behind on bricks still. But we have a lot more bricks in town, so we might even be able to thwart, thwart that. So this guy... Send him out. That's two bricks. And yeah, you can see we are actually full on bricks now. And these guys are able to produce uh, 413 at the moment. Which isn't really the 483 that we need, but it's close enough, I would say. Let's see our tools guy. He's going to have one of these eventually. Yeah, it looks like we got this going, somehow. Uh, we're not really delivering enough still of the bricks. And we do actually have a considerable amount of bricks in storage here, so... We could do a lot better with that. Maybe we should even move these guys over... Uh, ...to this guy. But that's quite busy as well, so I'm not sure that's worth it. Guess we could connect this guy and use that. Not like he is very busy anyway. Do that. Tell you to connect to the town instead. To Helsinki and then we tell the bricks guys to go from oil refinery instead. And then we don't need the oil guys to go as far either. They can just go uh, from Pumjack to this place. 
Wow, okay. And Bricksworks doesn't have anything anymore, no? So we can delete you. This could be a three-way intersection if we wanted to. Or disconnect these. Yeah, let's do that. Delete all of this. Destroy that. Bring these guys. There we go. That will allow us to make this a little bit more efficient. Which is nice. Delete that stuff. And these guys are on their own route as well. This is just a straight now. Well, kind of a straight with a little kink in it. <laughs> Would you look at that? Everything is working as intended. We have tools available. We have books available. We are producing bricks at a way higher rate than we did before. We actually have more more clay available than we are using as well. So we could probably expand the bricks even a little bit further in the next episode. And then we're going to have to figure out how to get another 10,000 people living in the city without completely breaking the bank when it comes to upkeep and income. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be really interesting. Make sure you are subscribed so you're not missing out. And uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. I think this has been one of the more productive ones so far. Usually you find me struggling with upkeep or something like that, but this episode has been really, really nice. Good updates always help out, you know? So yeah, paper mail up and running. We got tools, we got everything that we need. Now we just need to push for that 30k upkeep, not upkeep, population. And one big part of that is to improve our cheese production. So we need to get those tools and and the uh, books out to the cheese production as well. So that this these guys can actually start producing a little bit more. We might even need to improve the, the amount of trains that goes here. We only have one train at the moment. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I really do appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone. <laughs>